What's up, Internet? For those that don't know me, my name is Chad, and the long and short of it is, I have cancer. So let me start with a little history about me. I celebrated my 27th birthday this year. I married my wife Jackie four years ago. Now I work in the broadcast department of a Christian ministry. Jackie's a nurse. Jackie and I moved back to where I'm from, in St. Louis, and we built a house in the suburbs. And as luck would have it, we got pregnant. Nine months later, we had a baby, and we named him Chase. This is not a picture taken from the internet. This is actually a picture of Chase. There. That's better. Much better. <laughs> then, when Chase was six months old, we found out we were pregnant again. <gasps> this is Caden. Oh, isn't he cute? Look at those little smooth cheeks. Oh, woo -woo -woo -woo. Ah, yes, the cancer. I was just coming to that. So, after Caden was born, I needed to go to the dentist. So first you sit down with the hygienist, and she's kind of poking around and whatever she does, and then she was like, So, have you noticed any issues lately? And I was like, Yeah, actually, I think my, like, my back tooth back here is kind of loose. So she pokes at my tooth again, and then she goes, Shut up. Oh my gosh, are you for real? Then, the dentist takes a look at my tooth and he goes, holy cow. Not only is it loose, it goes like forward and backward and side to side and I can even like push it into your head. Weird, man. So then he referred me to an oral surgeon who saw me that day and he said he wanted to take a biopsy because he thought it was a cyst. During the biopsy, he said that my tooth was becoming so loose that he just had to pull it. I was gonna lose it anyway. So right now there's a hole from my mouth to my sinus cavity. The oral surgeon said he was gonna send the biopsy off to the lab. So we sent away the biopsy and we got it back a few days later. He calls us up and he tells us that it's not a cyst. It's actually malignant. It's called ameloblastic carcinoma. Emilio what? Amelioblastic? What the heck? Ameloblastic carcinoma. And it's extremely rare. In fact, according to Dr. Google, there's only been like a hundred documented cases ever. Let's, let's do the math. If there's 6.5 billion people on Earth right now, and let's just say that 100 people on Earth have it right now, then that means there's a one in 65 million chance that you'd get this type of cancer. The odds of getting bit by a shark are one in 3.7 million, which means it would be more likely for a shark to bite me 17 times before I'd get this type of cancer. So what happened next, Chad? I'll tell you, Chad. I went to an ENT, or an ear, nose, and throat doctor. He ordered a PET scan and a CT scan, and I did all that. And then we got the results back. Now, there's good news and there's bad news. Good news first, please. So the good news is the cancer hasn't spread to the rest of my body. It's just in my face. The bad news is it's much bigger than we initially thought. That's what she said. My doctor said that he thought that it might be like maybe quarter sized in the back of my mouth but unfortunately, it's actually more akin to the size of a golf ball. With a golf ball sized cancer in my face, the hardest part is just getting access to it. Since it's like right here and it comes all the way up to my eye almost, we had to come up with a new plan. So here's the new plan. The doctor said he's gonna make an incision that goes from the inside of my eye here, down the ridge of my nose, all the way down to my lip. Then he can open up that area and create a little pocket and then he can clean out everything that's under there. Then he'll take a skin graft of my leg and use that to repair anything that was done up here. He also said that he's gonna take biopsies on the far reaches of everywhere he cuts and then we'll send that to the lab. And then when we get those back, hopefully they'll be clear and then I'll be cancer free. So hopefully when it's all said and done, I'll look like this. No, no, not, not that. This. Aww. There we go. Yeah, I'll look the same. Getting half your face pulled off kind of sucks, but I haven't told you the worst part. When the doctor is cleaning everything up here, he said he's also going to have to take three additional teeth next to the tooth that they've already pulled, all the way up to my canines. He's also going to have to remove the majority of the roof of my mouth. I went and got fitted for a prosthetic. The prosthetic will act as my four missing teeth and the roof of my mouth. 
The prosthetic will also act as a cap that divides my mouth from my open sinus cavity. Without that prosthetic, I won't be able to eat or talk. But I'm trying to look on the bright side about all this. I'll never have to worry about burning the roof of my mouth on pizza anymore. And then I can taste it all day long whenever the cheese gets stuck in the dentures. Yeah, that's gonna be good. So here comes the sales pitch. Normally this type of surgery would cost tens of thousands of dollars. That's not including the prosthetic, which is usually thousands more. Now I'm not saying that we need everything covered because I have awesome insurance and a lot of it is covered. However, my prosthetic mouthpiece falls within the gaps of my insurance and we're gonna have to pay thousands of dollars out of pocket. Not to mention cancer related things like deductibles, co-pays, taking off of work, for example, Jackie is taking off the week of my surgery to take care of me while I'm recovering. Jackie doesn't have vacation time with her job. We're just out that money. We don't have thousands of dollars just lying around, but I have to have this prosthetic in order to eat and speak. We just wanna put cancer behind us. We just wanna be good parents and raise loving kids. So if there's anything that you can do to contribute to us financially, we can get back to that. I don't have any money right now. I totally get that. We're not the only people on earth that need money. But if you can give to us financially, then we humbly encourage you to do so. If you can't support us financially, we'd also appreciate prayer and just support in general. There's a GoFundMe page that you can use to donate, or there's PayPal where you can give to us directly. We also have a PO box if you'd like to just send us an old fashioned check. Also, you might check out my Etsy store. It's called Creative Square Studio, where I make mosaics out of Legos. Just saying, building Lego mosaics would be a really cool way to be spending my time in recovery. Hint, hint. Hopefully I'll make another video soon to kind of recap what happened with the surgery. So go ahead and hit subscribe and you'll be notified of new content. Also, like and share this video so that more people can see it. Thank you again for all of your prayers and support. God bless.